it's Grace the Book Lady here, and I've got a Halloween story for you today. It's called Trick or Treat by Leo Landry, and it says, Sometimes it's a treat to be tricked. Okay, here we go. Trick or Treat. The last day of October was finally arrived. The empty house at the end of the street mysteriously came to life. And there's the house. In the attic, a ghost named Oliver awakened. He grabbed the sack from the foot of his bed and glided out the front door into the woods. So there's Oliver getting ready. And there he is leaving his house. He stopped first at a mailbox beside some dusty old brooms. Next, at a moss-covered tombstone in the cemetery. There go the brooms, and that is the cemetery. And at last, at the mouth of a cool, dark cave. There is it, the cave. Afternoon arrived. As Oliver hurried home, a lone envelope slipped from his bag and twirled to the ground. So there's the envelope falling to the ground. There was so much work to be done. Oliver dusted the furniture, welcomed the spiders, and awoke the sleepy black cats. It was going to be the spookiest party yet. There he is doing his cleaning. And there are the cats. Evening neared. The full moon rose. Invitation in hand, two trick-or-treaters made their way from house to house. There are the houses and the trick-or-treaters making their way. At the empty house at the end of the street, Oliver's guests began to arrive. Knock, knock. Boo, greeted Oliver. Hooray, witch broom rides, he said. He's giving them brooms so they can ride. Knock, knock. More guests arrived. Boo, greeted Oliver. Scully and Jake, the Spooky Bones Band, and you brought the bats. So, musicians. Now, let the spooky party begin, announced Oliver. There he is. Oliver smiled, and all his friends were here. It was his favorite night of the year. So there are the witches. There's Oliver. And there's the spooky band. Outside, Two unexpected guests made their way to the house at the end of the street. Knock, knock. Oliver opened the door. There they are. Let's see what happens. Trick or treat, said a little cow and a little jack-o'-lantern. No one knew what to do, not even Oliver. The trick-or-treaters. The trick-or-treaters are kind of freaking out the ghosts, huh? Should we hex, hex them? Whispered the witches. We could spook them, whispered the ghosts, until they go away. Even the bats squeaked in alarm. I've got it, said Oliver. He slowly flew closer to the little cow and the jack-o'-lantern. So... There they are trying to figure out what to do. Treat! shouted
shouted Oliver, welcome to my party. And that was how a little cow and a little jack-o'-lantern came to dance with skeletons, chase ghosts, and ride with witches the last night of October. So there they are, enjoying the treats, enjoying the Halloween party. As they were leaving, the little cow told Oliver that it was the best Halloween ever. And we're never, and we've never seen such fine costumes, said the little jack-o'-lantern. The next morning, Oliver woke to found, find a note on his doorstep. So there they are leaving, and there he is finding the note. Here's, here's what the note said. Dear Oliver, you are invited to Jack's birthday party, Saturday, November 7th, 27 Cherry Lane, 3 o'clock. No costumes necessary. Love, Cow, and Jack O'Lantern. The end. So that is Trick or Treat by Leo Landry. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you have a good Halloween. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.